Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and back to another advent unboxing. In today's video, we're unboxing something a little bit different. So here we have the Fraser's Festive Beauty Box. So this is from House of Fraser and I think this is possibly in place of an advent calendar for this year. I've not seen anything about an advent calendar yet, but if I do, I will of course share it. But because I've not seen anything yet, I'm assuming that this that they've released is the equivalent of an advent calendar. So this is the Festive Beauty Box. This comes in at £69. It contains 17 products and the total value is £325. So definitely on the lower end of the price scale of advent calendars that we've unboxed so far. I think the only one below this has been Pretty Little Thing and I mean it's quite a low bar isn't it? So this is how the box comes. It's a beautiful gift box, definitely reusable. It's got this nice red ribbon on the front. Got this Pretty design as well with the cocktail glasses, mistletoe, lips, lipstick. On the back it has the price, almost like it's been on the shop floor. Um, and that is, that's it, that's that's all we get. So if we open this up, and then inside, it says the ultimate beauty treats filled with makeup, fragrance and hair care from your favourite brands. So that's what it looks like. Then we have a little card. We've got some tissue paper, and then we have a sneak peek. So on this card, it just lists the products and tells you a teeny little bit about them. Now, this might look a little bit familiar in a way that some of the products and the styles are quite similar to the flannels cracker that I unboxed. Um, that's just because they have the same parent company. So we do have a couple of repeats. So maybe if you picked up the flannels, you probably don't need this one. Or if you picked up this one, you might not need the flannels. But it depends if you like the products inside this one and if it's worth picking up for you. So it doesn't actually have like any particular order. It's just a lot of products in a box. So let's just dive straight into it. So the first thing on the top is this little starry pouch. Um, it's like a silky pouch and inside we have a silky eye mask. So this is the first product which is very familiar um, because we had we actually had the black version in the flannels cracker. It's exactly the same, it's just navy instead of black. So it comes in a little silky kind of pouch. Um, it doesn't have anything on the side, like on the flannels one, it said flannels beauty on the side. This is just plain. Uh, it feels very nice, it's quite large as well, um, quite soft. On this card it says a Fraser sleep mask and bag in navy star print. Ultimate relaxation is here thanks to the Fraser silky eye mask. Get ready for your best ever beauty sleep. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of like a bit of a filler product, isn't it? I don't mind getting these because I do use them every single night. And I like the silky kind of satiny ones. But yeah, it's not the most exciting product. But as like a little extra on top of the products, I don't mind it. Just makes it easier for when they're in the wash. But yeah, I like that it comes in a little pouch as well. So it's fab for travel. So that is product number one. Okay, the next product I'm picking up is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Collagen Lip Bath in Pillow Talk. I don't think I've ever had it in the shade. I've had it in like unusual shades or shades that I haven't really reached for. Um, but never Pillow Talk, which is my favourite. So this is what it looks like. Oh, this is so pretty. On the box it says, Plump Effect Collagen Care for the appearance of fuller, wider, fresher lips. Glide over your lips for instant volumising lip care. Yeah, I will definitely be using this. Oh, that's quite hard to get off. Ooh. I love the wand as well, the little applicators like a heart. Yeah, perfect shade. Love, love, love that. So it's sheer enough that it could be worn on top of another shade um, or can wear it on its own as well. It does have a nice colour to it. Um, it's a little bit kind of tacky. Not sticky as such, but a bit tacky. Oh, it has a gorgeous smell to it. Mm. So this is, of course, a full-size product and this is worth £27. So off to a good start. The box itself is 69 This is 27 Not bad. Yeah, so it's, it's described as a high shine sheer lip gloss in an iconic nude pink shade for fuller looking lips. Yeah. That's nice. Okay, on to the next product. This is from Morphe and it's the Make It Big Volumizing Mascara in the shade Bold Black. So this is another full size product and it's worth 12 pounds. I've used this before, it's a really nice mascara. It says it has an innovative wand designed and coated for pump free use. I'll pop a picture here. Uh, it says do not pump because product will build up and then wipe off any excess with the tissue. So you comb through from root to tip with a back and forth motion. That's how I apply mascara anyway. But yeah, it's meant to give really good volume. 100% uh, experienced instant volume and an immediate lengthening effect. It's a fab mascara, it's nice to see that in here. It's also safe for contact lens wearers as well. So yeah, full size mascara. So we've had full size lip product and full size mascara. Next we have a hair product and this is Olaplex number three. This is the 100ml and it's worth £28. So this is a duplicate product from the flannels cracker. This is basically a pre-shampoo treatment and it works to reduce breakage, strengthen the hair, repair and protect it deep within the hair strands, Restore healthy appearance and texture, and it's also colour safe and sulphate free. It's vegan and cruelty free as well. You're meant to use it two to three times a week on damp hair just before you shampoo and condition, and yeah, just works to make your hair in better condition. Next, we've got a product from Yves Lorme, 
And I don't think I've seen this one before. This is the Radiance Repair Retinol Serum. Ooh, I love retinol. <laughs> this is 9.5 ml, so it's not the full size. Doesn't tell you anything about it on here. So the full size is 30 ml and it's 145 pounds. This is a pricey one. That makes this worth 45 pounds 91p. For this, that seemed, that seemed a lot. For retinol serum. Oh, that is gorgeous. It looks so luxurious, doesn't it? Nice gold bottle. It says apply two or three drops to the face and neck in the morning and evening after cleansing and before moisturising. So it says to use in the morning as well. I would usually just use retinol in the evening and then use a sunscreen the next day. So on the Eve One website it says it's a new multi-active radiance repair retinol serum. It utilises a sophisticated scientific combination of wrinkle fighting liposome encapsulated retinol and microbiome rebalancing prebiotic oak kernel ferment to powerfully prevent and protect the skin against multiple signs of aging. The formula is fortified with AHAs that exfoliate and smooth the skin. It's gentle yet potent. The serum plumps and hydrates the skin, delivering a firmer, smoother, and more even complexion over time. Um, oh, it's actually won awards as well. That sounds fab. Ooh. Oh, well, the before and after on the website looks good as well. Well, I'm excited to use that. Yeah, nothing extra on there. Nice. So, two makeup products, a hair care product, and a serum. Next, we have a fragrance. This is from Raban and it's the Fame Intense Eau de Parfum. Ooh, I've never smelt this one before. So this is, how many mils is this? Hmm, oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness, look at that bottle. That is gorgeous. There is four mil, that's teeny. How cute is that? This is the cutest bottle I've ever seen. How do we open it then? Do we just pull the lid off? Don't wanna break this little robot's head. Ooh, fingers crossed we like it, cause this is a very cute bottle to have on my dressing table. Couple of drops there while it settles. Don't knock it over. Okay, first impressions. I like it. So the four mil, you can actually buy it in four mil. And it's 30 pounds. Spinny. Still still liking the smell. Okay, so the description on the Raban website says solar jasmine meets opulent incense and creamy sandalwood in a dazzling fragrance setting free your most sparkling facets empowering the fame star within you top note is incense trio heart note is solar jasmine and base note is sandalwood cream the full size looks so nice yeah i think i actually like that one. Ooh, how exciting that is so cute as well <laughs> okay well that's nice a brand new fragrance for me oh it's a fantastic anything and everything fame so the card describes this fragrance as a floral, woody, musky scent that's perfect for party season with a twist. Notes of mango, bergamot and jasmine add a tropical feel. Mmm, pretty, okay. Uh, we do have another fragrance. Oh, we have another two fragrances. Okay, I'm just gonna wait and do those in a minute. I'm just gonna wait for this one to settle a bit more. So next we have a full size lip liner from MAC and this is in Whirl. This is a fab shade. I use this one quite often. Really pretty shade and it goes with so many of my lip products. I think we also got the mini of this in the matte calendar this year as well. But yeah, this is such a fab colour. Uh, full size. And this is worth £20. The shade is described as a dirty rose and it's an ultra precise lip liner with a creamy formula designed for shaping, lining or filling in the lips. Yeah, can't go wrong with this. On the card it says this iconic lip pencil is the perfect addition to your everyday routine. Use all over to line the lips. It perfectly pairs with the Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath. Okay, so it works well together with this. Perfect, we have a nice little duo there. I like that they've done that because often in calendars we don't get an exact match that we can actually use together. Um, sometimes we might get similar. Yeah, that's really nice that they've actually thought about that. Okay, next we have a product from Pixie. This is the full size. Vitamin C Serum, Brightening Concentrate, 30 ml. I do like Pixie products. I've actually tried this one, but it was quite a long time ago. So it comes in a little pot like this. Obviously it isn't transparent because sunlight does actually disrupt the vitamin C serum and it comes with a little pipette. So when you're ready to use this, you take the lid off and use this as the lid instead. So this says a brightening and antioxidant serum provides a boost of immediate and long-term radiance. Combination of vitamin C and ferulic acid is known to neutralize free radicals to help improve skin tone for a brighter complexion. So you can use it daily after cleansing and toning. Smooth on two to three drops all over the face, neck and decolletage. I would use this as a morning serum. Um, so I'd use retinol in the evening, vitamin C in the morning. But this is actually worth 26 pounds. Oh, that fragrance is really nice. Mmm, definitely a new one for me. So yeah, gorgeous vitamin C serum there. So we've got two serums. Uh, that's the only skincare we've had so far, but one for the evening and one for the morning. 
Okay, next we have a product from Fresh. This is the Soy Face Cleanser. It's for all skin types and it's rich in amino acids to gently cleanse the face and eyes. This is 50 ml and it's worth 15 pounds. I've used this before and it's really nice as a second cleanse. It's an iconic gentle gel cleanser which whisks away everyday impurities and makeup, even mascara, without stripping the skin. So directions, in case we needed them. Wet the skin, massage over the face and eyes and rinse. Suitable for all skin types. A little bit more about this product, it's a formula of soy protein, cucumber extract, rose water, borage seed oil, mallow flower extract and sunflower seed oil contribute to a deeply nourished and softened complexion. Used twice a day, this cleanser helps to maintain the skin's elasticity, calm irritation and rebalance moisture levels without the use of irritating perfumes or scents. And it removes makeup, grime and impurities whilst toning and soothing the skin to reveal a refreshed, more radiant complexion. Yeah, it is fab, it's really nice. Quite a decent size there to try as well, 50 ml. It's not the full size, it does come bigger than that, but we can't actually buy it in that size. Okay, I've just spotted a product at the bottom, which is one of our faves. We have the Ritual of Ayurveda Body Cream. This seems to have appeared in quite a few calendars this year, but I'm really not mad about it. I love this product. Yeah, this is so gorgeous. Uh, this is a 70 ml. Smells unreal. Mm, just gorgeous. So this is Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil, and it is beautiful. It's a very nourishing, rich body cream. Leaves your skin feeling and smelling gorgeous. This size is worth £8.90. You can purchase it in this size from Rituals. And on the Rituals website, it says, enjoy silky, soft and beautifully fragrant skin with this rich and hydrating body cream infused with deeply nourishing sweet almond oil plus the delicate scent of Indian rose. It's beautiful. I just, oh, I love this. I've got so many of these products now from the Ritual of Ayurveda. Like, I can literally have a full body care routine and just smell entirely of this. I'm very happy. <laughs> Okay, should we do another one of the fragrances then? So the next fragrance is from Marc Jacobs and it's Daisy Wild. Four mil, comes in a nice little box. It says free sample, not for sale. It's kind of disappointing, isn't it? So, ooh, oh, it still has the flower on it. That's very similar. So I've tried Daisy like a long time ago and I wasn't really a fan. Um, I didn't think the mini would actually come with the flower on the top though this time, because it is just a mini. Okay, let's use my other hand this time. Okay, it's very different to the first fragrance. Hmm, a bit like fruity. Okay, well, I'll let that settle up for a minute. So the 30 ml of this product is 60 pounds. Um, obviously it's different prices depending on what size you get. Uh, the description on the perfume shop says, embark on an outdoor adventure with Marc Jacobs Daisy Wild, a fresh reminiscent of a wildflower bouquet. So the scent is jasmine, vetiver, and notes of banana blossom capture the irresistible essence of nature. Oh, that is actually quite nice. Uh, it says, loved by everyone, discover the captivating scent that's driving everyone wild, earning five star reviews everywhere. So the fragrance is a floral scent, top notes of banana blossom accord, heart notes of jasmine and macadamia accord, base notes of sandalwood and vetiver. And this is a new one for 2024. That is actually really nice. I like that one. This is a great box so far. So two fragrances and I like both of them. This is a rare occurrence, but I'm not complaining. Okay, on to the next product, we have another hair product. And this is a big one. This is from Philip Kingsley and it's the Maximizer Root Boosting Spray. So this is 125 ml and it's worth 21 pounds. I've actually been using the mini of this. We got it in a Look Fantastic box a few months ago and I think it's fab, like it really does work. So yeah, this is a full size and it says it volumizes and lifts fine flat flyaway hair. Our heat activated hair volume spray provides instant root lift, thickens hair and helps with frizz control and flyaways. It also adds texture and volume and protects from UV damage. So you basically spray it onto your roots all throughout your lens before styling. You can also use it on damp or dry hair and then gently blow dry for maximum volume. So I was applying this kind of like just around my root area before blow drying my hair and then the heat from the hairdryer was activating it and uh, giving me a bit more boost. That's actually a really good product that does work. That's a really big size as well. Okay we have a eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. This is the mini Zendo palette. I wonder if I've got this one. Natasha Denona palettes are gorgeous. We did get one in flannels as well, but it's not the same palette. Uh, those are more like pinky and like khaki kind of shades. So this is worth £25. Oh, these are beautiful. Gorgeous shades there. So this features five highly pigmented shades, including dusty coral, pastel pink, a deep cool burgundy, and a light taupe transition shade. It's perfect for creating neutral, harmonious looks with an unexpected pop of colour. So yeah, we can definitely do more of a neutral shade for like daytime, so with this shade and maybe like a little bit of this in the crease, we've got some sparkle then to add just a little bit of shimmer. But then we do have the deeper sparkle as well if you we wanted to make more of like a smoky look. That's fab. Love that. Okay, next we have a product from Oskia and I think it's leaked. It's definitely leaked, unless something else has leaked, but nothing else seems to be wet. It's just this. 
Uh, this is the Renaissance Mask, a Nutri Active Brightening and Resurfacing Mask, 14ml. So this is just a mini. I've used this before, it is a nice product. Oh yeah, it's all wet inside. Oh, this is definitely leaked. Oh, the lid isn't on properly. Oh, that's a shame. So yeah, it's like the, the lid just hasn't been put on properly, so it's actually like the liquidy bit has run out. It's all sealed up here though, unless it's not. No, there's no, there's liquid coming out the side. So yeah, that's a shame. Uh, obviously, I'm not sure how long that's been opened either, so I don't know if I'd risk using that. Hmm. Anyway, let me tell you about the product. So it's 14 mil, it's just a minute, and it's worth 14 pounds. Oh, it's a winner of 19 Best Mask Awards. So on the website it says it contains MSM, lactic acid, passion fruit and grape AHAs, papaya enzymes, Swiss garden cress liposomes, prebiotics, ribose and butter burr. Um, and it's the perfect party or post party enlivening mask. Immediate brightening, radiance, illuminating and smoothing effects. So this is designed to increase its cell turnover, boost radiance and it's packed with Oskia's trademark blend of beauty boosting nutrients. It's a luxuriously textured exfoliating mask that leaves the complexion smoother, more refined and illuminated. Yeah, so it's like um, a pinky kind of colour, and then when you put it on, it turns white. So you only need a quite thin layer, and then when it turns white, you then just wipe it off. Yeah, it's a shame that that is actually leaking. So yeah, I might message them about that and just see what they say. Um, I don't have an update on ASOS yet, I'm chasing. Okay, three products left. So next we have a product from Mario Badescu. This is the Ceramide Herbal Eye Cream. 14 grams. This looks like a full size one. So this is actually worth 18 pounds. So it's described as an eye cream for dry and tired eyes. It's suitable for all skin types. It's formulated with a high performance blend of vegetable, carnation and rose oil, which nourishes and hydrates the skin for a smooth and supple appearance. It diminishes signs of fatigue and aging while smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles, leaving eyes looking refreshed and hydrated. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of this brand, so I wouldn't usually try something like this, but it does sound quite nice. I might try this one out. Quite a decent size as well for an eye cream like usually we just get like five grams not 14. okay next we have another product from fraser's and this is the white jade gua sha so it's the navy packaging with the white stars to match this little silky pouch and this is made 100 percent of white jade gua sha's did the rounds a few years ago didn't they? and i ended up with so many of them like i tried to gift as many as i could i've still got about five in my drawer uh, but let's see what this one looks like so it comes all very well packaged and protected and oh that looks beautiful oh, that is gorgeous though. you can definitely feel this is really good quality that is beautiful so on this card it says helping to reduce inflammation drain puffiness and snatch your face with just a few strokes this white jade gua sha is the ideal tool to give yourself an at-home express facial yeah so this is basically a facial massage tool so you can use this after applying your serums or your moisturizers um, and you just use various points of the gua sha to massage your face. There'll be lots of tutorials online if you just search on YouTube um, showing you how exactly to use it. There's so many different like massage techniques to use with it, but it's supposed to help with lymphatic drainage. And the top tip is to pop this in the fridge before you use it so it's nice and cool. So yeah, I'm actually not mad that we've got that because it's been a while since I've received one of those. That kind of reminds me of the White Company one as well. Okay, the final product in here is a final fragrance. And this is the Versace Pour Femme. And this is Dylan Purple Eau de Parfum, 10 ml. This is the biggest perfume we've had so far. Okay, nice packaging. I do like the Versace men's fragrances, but I don't think I've ever smelled a ladies fragrance. Ooh, nice and purple. Okay, I hope this is nice. I'm gonna spray it in the lid. Okay, let's let that settle a second. So this card says, elegant, bright and sparkling. This fragrance was made to add a little joy to your everyday from the bottle to the scent. I mean, it's a nice bottle. So it's a floral scent. Top notes are bitter orange, Italy opera, pear juice, accord, bergamot, Italy opera. Okay. Heart notes are purple freesia, pomerose, and mahonio. And base notes are iso e super, cedarwood, Virginia opera, ambrofix, belambre, and silcolide. Am I being trolled? Okay, that smells nice. I'm trying like not to smell it with the other fragrances. See, I feel like it's quite similar to this. Okay, I'm not sure if it's just because I've sprayed them all together, but I feel like it's fairly similar to the Marc Jacobs one. Surely not. That does smell nice, though. I'll have to try it on its own when I've not got the fragrances on me, but yeah, first impressions, that smells quite nice. And yeah, 10 mil. Fab. So that is everything inside the Fraser's Festive Beauty Box, possibly in place of an advent calendar. 
So to recap, for skincare, we started off with a cleanser from Fresh. We had a couple of serums. We've got the Pixi Vitamin C Serum and the Evlam Retinol Serum. We've got the eye cream from Mario Badescu, the mask from Oskia, and a gua sha for some facial massage. For makeup, we had four products. We had the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Collagen Lip Bath, which pairs nicely, apparently, with the MAC Lip Liner in Whirl. We then had the Make It Big Mascara from Morphe and the eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. Gorgeous products there. Hair products, we had the Full Size Olaplex number no. 3 and also the Full Size Philip Kingsley Maximizer. We had a body cream from Rituals and then three fragrances, which were the Raban Fame Intense, Daisy Wild from Marc Jacobs and Versace Dylan Purple. And then to finish off, we had the sleep mask as well. I think that's a fab little box for £69. Like, we've got so many full sizes in there. Aside from a moisturiser, we've kind of got a skincare routine, which I like. I think they've played it safe with the makeup products. They've gone for some popular shades and well-loved products, but I mean, I'm happy with that. Fragrances, I'm very impressed. I didn't expect to like them so far. They all smell nice. Yeah, I'm a fan. I am a fan. I'm happy about that. Hair care as well. I think they've played it safe with the Olaplex. Um, that's a very popular product. The Philip Kingsley Maximizer. Love that. I'm glad to see that in here. Uh, sleep mask, I'm not too fussed about. Gua Sha. Yeah, that's okay. Take it or leave it. Um, and of course, the gorgeous Rituals body cream as well. 10 out of 10. Um, it's a shame that the Oskia mask has leaked. If you have picked this up, just check that your lid is on properly and yours hasn't leaked as well because you don't want to leave it until like December and then it's just ruined. But that's the same with our calendar. It's, it's definitely best when it arrives, getting someone to just check everything's in there and nothing's leaked, nothing's missing, nothing's broken because then you can usually get it fixed before December comes around, fingers crossed. But yeah, that is everything inside this box. If you're looking for a multi-branded advent calendar, but not as jam-packed and also not as expensive as some of the other multi-brand calendars out there, I think this is a great option. You could even make your own advent calendar with the 17 products in here, just add a few little extras. But I think this would make a great Christmas gift as well. It's got a bit of everything, a bit to suit everyone, and it comes in a gorgeous little gift box. So this is available right now. If you are interested in picking it up, it is linked in my description down below. But as always, let me know what your thoughts are on the box. Let me know what you think of the fragrances as well, if you've smelled these before. I think the first one's my fave so far, and I'm glad because that's such a cute bottle. Hmm. <laughs> But thank you so, so much for watching, guys. That is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up just before you go and hit subscribe. Click the bell to be notified next time I post a video. And I'll see you soon for another video. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh. Forget about it.